One of the lesser known aspects of adding passwords to workbooks is the ability to add a password that places the workbook in read-only mode. Note that this level of password does not encrypt the workbook and you may use this feature independently of the encrypting password feature. You may also use this feature in conjunction with the encrypting password feature to create two levels of access to a workbook. Those users who know the encrypting password would have full access to the workbook, while those users who know the read-only password would only be able to view the workbook. To add a password to a workbook so that the workbook opens in read-only mode, perform the following three steps. First, when saving the workbook, choose the Save As option, followed by Tools, followed by General Options. Second, in the General Options dialog box currently shown on screen, enter your password to modify. Of course, you will also need to confirm the password to modify. And then complete the save process by clicking Save. Having entered the password to modify, Excel presents any user who opens the workbook with the password dialog box currently pictured on screen. Upon entering the correct password to modify, the workbook opens with full editing privileges. However, if a user clicks Read Only, the workbook opens in Read Only mode. If you enable both password options, the encrypting password and the Read Only password, when you attempt to open the workbook, Excel will prompt you to enter the encrypting password. If you successfully enter the encrypting password, then Excel will prompt you for the Read Only password. Keep in mind that these two passwords can, and likely should, be different. If they are different, then those users who know the encrypting password will have only the ability to open the workbook but not make edits, and those users who know both passwords will have both opening and editing privileges. Excel offers a myriad of options for securing a workbook and its contents. If you want to allow all users to open a workbook, but also desire to control who can edit the workbook, then consider this method of adding a password to make the workbook read-only to those users who do not know the password. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.